So today we're going to talk about making a template in Pro Tools that we can work from um, every time that we create a new project in Pro Tools. So when you start uh, Pro Tools up, you get this quick start screen which gives you several different options as to how you want to open a project or what you want to start with when you're making a project. So the first one would be to open a session, which would be to open any session on your computer at all, where you go to a search screen, something that's already been created. You can create a blank session, which is a completely new session, or you can create a session from a template, which is one of the templates we're going to make today. There are several templates that come within Pro Tools in different categories, but I've also made my own template folder to put any new templates in that I want to work from, which are displayed here. So for today, because we're going to create our own template from scratch, I want to create a bl blank session to start with. And before we hit OK, we want to go to where it says Session Parameters, which is going to give us some more details about how uh, our session is going to be set up and the quality of audio that we're going to be recording in. So the first one is the audio file type, which is going to default to a WAV file. And then we have our sample rate and our bit depth measurements. The sample rate is a measurement of samples per second which is going to determine the quality of our frequency content of the audio coming in. And the bit depth is a measurement of uh, how distinct the amplitude or the dynamic range of the audio is. So I like to keep that at about 24 bit. That's a nice high level. Um, the higher that you go, the better quality it will be. Um, and for the sample rate, 44.1 kilohertz is CD quality. But you can choose any of these higher ones, but do note that they're going to be uh, taking up more space in your computer. But I like to keep it at 44.1, uh, therefore I don't have to downsample it or ever have to worry about uh, going from a higher sample rate into a lower one. For the I.O. settings, that's going to be your last use, but I also have some other I.O presets that I put together, but we can do that in another video. So I'll just leave it to last use, which is what you should do as well. And that should be enough for us to start. Hit OK. And it's going to ask you to save this session. I'm just going to call it Chrissy Template, which note is not going to be the actual template that we save, but its own session in itself. So if I go to uh, Chrissy Template and then enter to save, it's going to create a brand new Pro Tools session. So as we can see right now, there aren't any tracks. So we're going to have to make some ourselves, and then we can customize them as we like. Since the last session that I used had a couple of these windows up already, they've already opened in the brand new session. But if you wanted to go and choose these individually, if you don't see them right away, go to Window, and I just have the Transport and the Big Counter. Without them... It looks like this. So you can customize your windows of whatever ones that you want right off the bat. But I like to have the transport and the big counter. You can change how you're counting when you press play, either in, in seconds or bars and beats. You can choose all that there. I have it in minutes and seconds right now. So since we have absolutely no tracks in this session yet, we want to create some new ones right away. So if we hit Shift Command N, it's our new track window. And I want to create a bunch of these all together uh, at once, so then I can rearrange them and label them in any way that I please. So the first one I'm going to make is a mono audio track, which is going to be if we record any vocals, for example, or guitar in, uh, we're going to need an audio track to go with. And if we hit this little plus right here, we can create multiple tracks at once. The next one I want to do is a stereo instrument track, because I want to load up a piano sound that I can use right away every time that I open Pro Tools to get an idea down the minute I'm thinking of it. Click another one, and we want to go to a stereo aux track, or an aux input, which is going to be for our reverb that we can set up. And one last one would be a stereo master fader, which is uh, going to control the master volume of all of our tracks together. Hit Create, and it automatically puts them up right here. So I like to put these in a particular order. This is just about what I would have liked. Um, but I want my instrument track to be first, then the audio track, the aux, and then the master. I like to keep my um, auxiliaries near the end next to my master, which should always be last. So um, as I said before, I really wanted to load in a an instrument sound onto that instrument track. So when I open Pro Tools, I can get a sound right away. But first off, you want to check and make sure that you have your edit window set up the way that you want. 
Mine is already set up pretty well. I've got my inserts and sends both viewable in the edit window. But if you don't want them, for example, if you don't want the inserts, you can just go to this little box right here, click, and you can choose what you see in that window and what you don't see. So inserts A through E and sends A through E is what I like, plus my I.O. settings, which is the inputs and the outputs. I like that to be set up the same way as it looks in my mix window. So if I hit command equals and look at the two, they're pretty similar. So my next step would be to load in uh, some sort of instrument sound. I like to go with just a piano because it's simple. Um, I go to multi-channel plugin instrument and I'm just going to open up contact, which is a native instruments plugin. And just give it a second to load up. And once that's open, I'm just going to scroll down in my different patches and I'm just going to find a really simple piano sound to go with. I'll just do this New York Concert Grand. Just click and drag it in there. And that way when I open it up, it's going to come right away and I'll be able to play some music. And I always like to label everything as I go along. So I'm just going to call this piano. And then I'm going to label that audio track voice because most likely I'll be recording in a vocal. And my auxiliary track I'm going to call reverb, which can be our next step, which we go into our inserts or our plugin settings. Go to reverb, and I'm just going to go with our verb, which is a uh, waves plugin. And once we have that all set up, we have to choose what we send to that reverb sound. And we'll select our input there. I'm just going to say bus one and two. And I'd like to send the piano part to that bus. And when that comes up, we can see we can control how much of that piano we're sending on bus one and two into the reverb channel input bus one and two. Go ahead and close that. And the last track that we want to add to this so we can get a good idea of where the tempo's at and how um, quickly our track is moving, we want to go to track, create click track. And I like to click that all the way up to the top so it's right at the top of this session. And if I press play, you can hear it play back at 120 BPM. And that's a really good setup for us to start with. And we can save this as a template. Uh, to be able to open at a future date to be able to make all of our sessions all the same. So I just saved this, Command S, to save the session itself, but that's not saving our template as it is. So if we go to File, Save as Template, which is different from Save, which is what we just did, Command S, Save as Template, uh, this little window comes up and it says Install Template in System, which will be on your computer. And you can choose whatever category. Remember how we first looked at all of those other categories that come with Pro Tools? I have my Chrissy's Templates folder, and I'll just call it Chrissy Template. You can name it whatever you want, and hit OK. I already have one called Chrissy Template, and I'll just replace it as a new one. And that's it. And the next time that we open Pro Tools Start menu, if I save this and then close this session, close session, and go to File, New Session again, it'll bring up that same Start window, Create session from template, and there's our template.